Hi, hello everyone. So in today's video, we'll be checking out the brand new Century Champion. There's a bunch of things in the new update log that I will not read out, but the thing is, to even get the champion, we actually I need to enchant 20 swords in trading lobby, which I will show in just a second. But with everything out of the way, let's get started. So to get started, uh, you have to click game mode and then go to the trading hub. Uh, yes. And for starters, you actually have to uh, get a lot of gems. I'm not sure how much. Uh, spinning once is 500 gems. So 5 times 20. That's like... That's like... That's like... Oh, actually, I need a calculator for that. Uh, the, the, wait. 5 times 20. Wait. No, it's 500 times 20. My bad. Okay, so that's 10,000. So you need 10,000 gems to even get that uh, new champion. So with that said, uh, now we're going to go gamble. So I don't actually know what these are for. I think it just gives like a cool effect or whatnot. Obviously, if you care, these are all the enchantments you can get. Uh, and it shows their percentage if you put your mouse on it. Obviously, I don't really care though. I'm just gonna spin and then maybe try to get something good. And if I don't, then I guess we'll carry on with the video. 20 minutes later. Okay, I got auto thingy and I have no idea. I think I wasted like 10k. I'm just gonna hop off this now. Obviously, I'm not getting anything. So uh, I'm just gonna go back to the regular lobby. Okay, so after you wasted your precious 10,000 gems, you now have the new Senshu champion. And now I'm gonna show you all of his attacks because that's kind of what you're here for so starting off with the first ability it's called egoist warp it's a quick dash forwards it's kind of like gazos but it doesn't go as far and you can also split it in five different uh sections of when you can dodge that was kind of a bad example uh you can dash in any direction you want obviously i kind of dashed forward so you can see how far i go which i mean all the way from there to here it's, it's a decent amount you could probably yeah you can you can literally just dash that far with warp you go forward there 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 and then you can like you know you can zigzag and then you can break ankles charge kick um it takes a little bit to uh to charge up but if this guy keeps going after me oh never mind okay hold on Okay, that guy was not supposed to die. Okay, let me see if the ball will go after me. Because charge kick, you can't use it as soon as it hits you. You have to use it before the ball even goes after you. Okay, so this guy's gonna clearly go after me. So if I charge it, he goes charging, almost full. Okay, that that was supposed to hit him. It doesn't look as cool now, but as you saw, there was like a bar that was filling up, which I wasn't really able to. Uh... Okay, yeah, that works. Okay, that definitely works. <laughs> they do not expect that. Okay, so starting off with the third ability, it's a yellow card. And if someone is, somebody's in your range, you can aim it at anyone. So let's say I go after this guy. And I give him a, a, a 2x damage, which means if I hit him, it deals double damage. So there, he dies right there because I dealt 3 damage to him. His yellow card does two damage or like two times damage or whatever okay the fourth one i don't really get i think it's mainly there to look cool but if i just use it right there and then i can just aim it at someone and like this guy okay yeah it's like it doesn't go fast like i don't really get what it does okay the range for yellow card uh it's it's pretty big actually i'm gonna keep tapping Oh, you have to be really close to them. I mean, I died, but, you know, you have to be really close. So I think that was all of the abilities. Um, I know this one's quite short, but, you know, there isn't much to show. I didn't really explain the cooldowns, so I will show it right after this outro. If you're interested to know how long auto parry uh, stays for, or I mean blue shield as I call it, or how much charge kick can uh, charge for, you can use egoist warp, like, uh, about whenever. Like, if you wanted to use one at the beginning of a match and then another one at the end, I'm pretty sure it's, like, not limited. As soon as you use five, that's when it starts recharging. Okay, but that's for the video. If you have any questions, make sure to comment down below. I will try to answer as many as I can. If your comment only has a heart on it, uh, it's, it's probably not a question or I just couldn't answer it. But yeah, if you enjoyed or if you learned anything from this video, make sure to like and subscribe if you're new. With everything out of the way, I hope you have a nice rest of your day, night, evening, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.